Earlier, I sat down with the new industry and science minister, Ed Husick, for his first interview. He's also the first Muslim to enter Cabinet at the federal level. Ed Husick, thanks for your time. Congratulations. Thanks, mate. The first Muslim man into a, an Australian Cabinet. How does it feel? I, I do feel the moment. Uh, I, I think if you looked at the swearing in today, it reflected the face of modern Australia. But it was also sending a really important message that uh, all of us have got a, a part to play. We're expected to step up from our different backgrounds and try and confront the, the problems that are facing the nation, work together uh, on those challenges, build a better country. I think these are important signals. Some people think that's a bit, uh, a bit over the top, but I think it's important. These are moments in time where we learn a lot and there are a lot of us in there that were kids of migrants. Parents come here with nothing, absolutely nothing, and build a life for their family. And this, the beauty of this country should not be um, overlooked, that it gives us, it opens a door and says, if you want to step up and pitch in, there's a place for you. I think that's a pretty powerful message. Do you think it's important for young Muslim boys yeah. and girls looking at today's events with you in the cabinet, and Ali also yeah. promoted to the ministry, but to say, people of my faith, like me, can get to the top jobs in the country. Yeah, I, uh, look, it has been a road since uh, the horror of 9-11. Uh, and it was understandable that fear, you know, drove some reactions. And I've always acknowledged that and understood it, right? Um, but, you know, we're getting through that step by step. And I, I did want today, and I think Anne, I don't want to put words in Anne's mouth, but I think we would have both felt to, uh, I said earlier about sending signals, particularly the Muslim Australians, there's a place for you. Um, you can step up, you can contribute. Uh, we're all in this together. And uh, I do really feel that this was for them and for, to be honest, mate, for every migrant kid you know, in the country, it is an important day. And there's a lot of people from different faiths, different backgrounds, different like genders that were there today uh, that can you know, take enormous pride out of what they saw. And do you take pride in seeing that diversity mm. across the front bench of which you're a part of? And do you think it helps the Albanese government resonate with the electorate? I, I do think uh, as a starting point it does. It shows that you've got at the highest level of decision making within government that there are a breadth of views, the breadth, you know, different walks of life and experiences that are sitting around that that uh, cabinet table and within the ministry more broadly, uh, contributing to that. I mean, we will ultimately be judged on the quality of our decision making and the way that we do business, and the way that we conduct ourselves. So that will uh, obviously be a test. And I think while today is great, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. There's a big job to do. Slow the roll a bit, think it through, and. Um, and again, we've got a lot of things that we're determined to get done. Uh, and we know we will be judged on what we said we'd do and did we get it done? And did we get it done in a way that people accept too? And so uh, I'm sitting there, Kieran, in that, that room in Government House, and it's not, not that often we get that chance. So one, I was thinking of that. And two, I was thinking of delivery. Well, we've got to get stuff done. So, uh, but it is great. Like, I don't want to... You know, I don't want to be a damn blanket. Like it's, it's, you know, it's a whole mix of things when you when you're sitting in there. And I wouldn't want people to think we we weren't conscious of that or taking stock of that. Oh well, yeah, yeah, it's a big moment in anyone's yeah. political career. And yeah. now your cabinet minister, minister for industry and science. It's an area you know well. Mm. I know you've got to go to a meeting, but just finally, give our viewers a sense of what you want to achieve in that space. I could go through all the policy initiatives we announced, the National Reconstruction Fund, the reforms to procurement, the Buy Australia Plan. Um, I can go through all of that stuff, but the biggest message I would like to, to leave the viewers is this. The importance of this portfolio is to remind ourselves that Australia is a smart country. We have had to use our wits to survive, from the very first people who made it here, from the First Nations people, to everyone that arrived thereafter. We've got to reinvigorate our faith in Aussie know-how, one. 
um, there's a big challenge on um, you know, re-establishing the importance, the value of manufacturing in this country. It's a vital capability to the economy and growing jobs and better economic outcomes. We've got some big challenges to do in that, particularly in terms of finding the skills, skilling up people, finding people, making sure that all that's happening. Um, but the big thing is we can do this. And importantly, we will do this. Um, and we will use our smarts and our skills uh, to build that uh, longer term. There's a lot of good things that can be done. And I've seen over many years the smarts of Australians being applied in ways that if a lot of, other saw, a lot of Australians saw that, their hearts would fill with pride.